Hello, we are out here. Dr. Sarah Pollock, future marine biologist, Amelie Johnson. Say hey, Amelie. Hello. And this is our intro, but not intro, because this is gonna go before a lot of the things that we've already done. <laughs> so in this video, you'll see at the very least, um, a bunch of tantilla, flat-headed snakes, a Texas blind snake, and a checkered garter snake. We caught the uh, blind snake and the garter snake today, and then we caught the tantilla at uh, Friedrich Wilderness uh, two days ago. Mm -hmm. Not yesterday, because we had really bad storms yesterday, and so there's a lot of water. And so we decided that we would come out and uh, see what was active, given um, it's cool today and uh, it rains, so there's, it should, there should be a little bit more activity, and that has been the case. We've got a blind snake, which we don't see too often. We've caught, well, we caught that one that one time, then we caught like three of them under one rock one time, but other than that, we haven't seen any. Um, and of course, we caught a garter snake, which was a ordeal, it was like half an hour around this like pool of water until it finally decided to come out onto the edge and uh, of course we picked it up and uh, it was quite gregarious and friendly and didn't musk on us which is nice so we're not stinky right Amelie? Yep and it didn't bite us. And it didn't bite us and did you hold it? Yep. Cool. All right so Amia and Sarah and I are out here at Friedrich Wilderness area. Yep. And I just turned up a little flat-headed snake. Under a rock, right? Yeah, under a rock. Do, does you, it make your hands stink? No, not really. Can I hold it? Yeah, so see, look at its pretty belly. Oh. That's one of the ways I know it's a flat-headed snake. But also it has very, very smooth scales. So it's gonna try to dig its head into you, okay? Hey, hey Daddy. Look, what do you think, Amelie? it's not hiding its head. I'm being very calm, and it loves that, and even it loves the shade of my hat. <laughs> so when you let go, you want to let him go right back where you found him. So see, it's, it wants to hide its little head, but we're going to let it go right underneath its rock. And there it goes. Flat-headed snake number two, right, Amelie? Yeah. Tantilla, the second one. Ami, mean, what did we learn about where to find them? And they're flat rocks, and this is a flat rock. That's a, this is a good one. I'm going to get it back in place right, so when we get to let go of it, it can fit up under can there you nice. Hold this, Daddy. Can I hold it now? Yep. Take it really gentle. It's still freaking out a little bit, so you got to let it open your fingers a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Don't let it fall now. Whoa, it's trying to get in my finger. <laughs> yeah. Don't squeeze it. Whoa. <laughs> All right, listen to Marco Polo to Mama. You do. We got our third flat headed snake, right, Amelie? Yeah. Can you put it on me here? Hold on. Let's let it calm down before I do it because it'll. Gotta let it learn that it's not gonna be eaten. This one was right off the trail. Yeah, right underneath this flat rock. <laughs> what did I say, Ami? What's under flat rocks? Flat-headed snakes. Yeah, what color is its belly? Huh? What color is its belly? Red. Yeah. Is it calm? Okay. Don't let it fall, though, okay? Okay. There it goes. Let it, just let it hide. One. So what do we catch, Ami? A walking stick. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. It looks a lot like a stick, huh? It's, this is a good... We got our first camouflage flodge bug. That's right. It's camouflaged just like a walking stick. So it was going across the trail, so I think we should help it across so it doesn't get stepped on, right? Well, let's put it over there. All right. There you go, Mr. Walking Stick. It's a Texas blind snake. He's found on going. You're on camera, on me. Everybody's hearing you sing. 
You can sing. I'll just let you know. So what do you think? Watch out, let's step out of the road. Or step out of the trail. Come on, step off the side. You see why it's called a blind snake? Why? Look how little its eyes are. So small. It's trying to get you. <laughs> it's smelling you. <laughs> it you. loves me. <laughs> to get your nose. He didn't touch my nose. <laughs> no, and they don't. This is my snake pose, by the way. I'm trying to catch a snake in the water. See it periscoping? I do. I mean, if you step back a little bit and stop moving so much. All right, we caught a chicker garter snake. After many circlings of the pond, where it was swimming. Yeah. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah. Can I pet it? Yeah. Whoa, it's freaking out. All right, so Sarah spotted this checkered garter snake as we were walking. Uh, at Tierra Oak Trailhead on the Greenway here and we spent quite a bit of time as Sarah said in the other video or the other clip uh, trying to catch it it finally came out of the water so I ran over and grabbed it Sarah kept her eye on it the whole time and now Ami's having a experience with a checkered garter snake and, and it's calmed down now because I'm here and it smelled my hand and now knows we're not going to eat it. Yeah, we had to, had to learn that we weren't here to eat it. And now it's just kind of curious. Garter snakes are very curious snakes. Let's move a little off the trail so yeah. this bike can go by. Yeah. I'm trying to calm it down. So we're going to carry it over, let it go right over here. We found it right here at the pond. Be really gentle. Nice job, Ami. It's mm -hmm. happy. Almost got my hand on two hands on two different Nerodia. I think clean-bellied water snakes. They slipped into the overflowing creek behind us. Um, Sarah and I had seen water snakes out here before and this is kind of just a little bit farther down the trail from where the yeah Ami wasn't here um, a little bit farther down the trail from where we caught the garter snake Feeding babies. Yeah. Cool scissor tail fly catcher. Flying all the way down there. Yeah. So there's everybody. We've been out a few hours yeah. and we caught two snakes. What kind of snakes did we catch, Amelie? We caught, caught a blind, a blind, a blind snake. And then what? And then the, the 
check, check, checkered mm -hmm. garter snake. Yep, so we got the blind snake and the checkered garter snake. And what did daddy see down by the river? Yeah, and what did I water? see? Water snakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw two of them. We went, stopped back by there to see if they would pop back up on the bank, and they did. But I still didn't catch them because they hopped back in the water, hopped, slithered back into the water really quickly as soon as I saw them. There's so, a mosquito on your, on well, we've also seen lots of mosquitoes out here. Quite prolific. And we saw two, what kind of birds, Sarah? Oh, the scissor tail flycatchers. Yeah, and Sarah and I both got video, I think. Yeah. So we'll include, that. We'll, we will have included that in here as well. And then next time we go out, we'll see if we can't get more stuff. It's supposed to rain quite a bit over the next week or so. So hopefully there's some, dry, there's some spells where we can get out and do some exploring. Yeah.